Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will like continue from my previous video, ISVE model IT. Today, we will go for Suncast. Let's have a look. Suncast can be used at any stage of the design process to perform shading and solar insulation studies. This feature is also capable to generate images and animation from a model created by IS Model Builder. Suncast can be used to perform studies in the terms of external obstruction and self-shading of a building, solar mapping through windows and opening, and the effect of changing orientation of building. First thing first, you have to select the application of Suncast Solar Shading Analysis in the ISVE application toolbar. Once you have clicked the Suncast, you may see the different toolbar exactly for suncast right from the left is this is the load setting allow user to load specific setting for the model and this one is safe setting you can save your project this one is you can select the zone there is the default condition that is active which allow users to select zone from the viewport and here is the sun pass diagram. You can activate the sun pass diagram for the project location set by user. Let's say this we select Johor Bahru, Senai. Then the sun pass diagram is according to the this Johor Bahru location. Next to the sun pass diagram is the sun up, sun down timetable. It will show the time for sun up and sun down for the location. Solar shading calculation allows the user to run solar shading analysis to the model. First thing first, let's have a look at the sun pass diagram. Just click the sun pass diagram. Okay, here now, here is this uh, the location of Johor Bahru sun pass diagram. You can see. How it's gonna look like? Then you want to run the solar shading calculation. To run the solar shading calculation, you just click this icon, solar shading calculation, in this suncast toolbar. To know you can simulate the sun shading start from the month of January until the end of December throughout the, the year. Right? For this practice, we perform analysis for the whole year, January to the December. The design day will be 15 as the default value. This is the default value. Then click start when the analysis is completed. The result will be displayed in the flex screen. So, Let's have a look. Just push that. Okay. The simulation is complete. Then we can view the result. Okay, you can see at the bottom of this uh, suncast window, you can see this uh, solar shading calculation result. In general, the grid shows the the screen show the solar altitude value where the user can view the insulation data by selecting particular surface of the opening. Okay. Insulation can be defined as the amount of solar radiation reaching a given area. For this practice, you can click the object until it's highlighted in the right click, move one level down. Okay. You want to see this one? 
so you can highlight this your object then you can move one level down Okay, see for example if you want to see the solar insulation okay in this particular selected wall the wall that's uh, with this window okay you can see you can see by the how much solar radiation to the to the wall by area right or you can see uh, the sun radiation to the wall by percent area so now I choose solar radiation to the wall by the area meter square so you can see throughout the year at 8 p.m. January until February you will have this kind of meter square of area of sun radiation facing the, the 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 wall okay you can see what happened to the zero 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 means there's no there is no uh sun dust to this wall and then it will have back for the october to the december right so how about the percent area so this is uh, how many percent of the area that will cast by the by the sun you may choose to select different wall see this wall different orientation you get different percent area to the to the surface of the wall by different time throughout the day okay Okay. Now I will show you the 3D view of the sun cast and also the sun orientation. Okay, let's keep the model viewer. As you can see, this is our model house, sample house. Then we can turn the solar arc. Okay, this will be the solar arc see I put with this shadow so you can see the shadow with this uh, movement of the Sun so we can make it uh, animation on then you will see throughout the morning to the throughout the day to the night you can see the, the Sun moving Okay. okay this one is sun related to the September uh, day the the September 12 September so the 12 September the sun will move in this path right okay you can stop for a while to go back okay the most important things is that I want to share with you all the solar shading analysis so in solar shading analysis menu or tab we will have a uh, solar energy analysis and also the solar exposure analysis we go first to the solar energy analysis with the weather data of Singapore we will use it in the period of one year, the full year, we will calculate the speed diffuse shading factors because we want to put the more effect of the of the cloud, the cloudy effect. Then we go for the high resolution grid one meter on a building. So we try to simulate it. Okay. 
kitchen. I'm using this uh, computer laptop uh, processor of Core Intel i7 10th gen with a little bit uh, smaller NVIDIA graphic card and the iteration of the simulation is quite fast then I will load the result to view this you have to uh, load it first ok you want to see the display what kind of display you want to see uh, for me I want to see this energy in kilowatt hour per meter square at my building then show value show everything it is the range of the of the uh, energy kilowatt hour per square okay then we run this throughout the year January to the first the first December meaning one year simulation data then we click apply okay now we see you see okay this picture will show on what is how much energy sun radiation effect the the house so you can see the sun throughout the year seeing to be exact throughout the year you see the roof will get more because the roof is uh exterior to the sun compared to the wall the roof getting more uh, sun radiation you can see it's around 1544 kilowatt hour per meter square per year okay and then you see the wall see the water let's see if you want to see clearer I will show I will off this shadow for a while okay you can see because the roof is a bit protrude here then you can see there's a little bit shading we can get at the top of the wall okay you can see the bit uh, this one is the bit cooling cooler the the, the, the the wall facing the the wall at the top is getting is get cooler red compared to the bottom wall you can see so the irritation also will affect this this uh, radiation to the wall throughout the year of course we can see that the nose and south part of the wall getting lower radiation energy compared to the west and east wall see different in color range so it goes to the south facing so this one is good if you want to simulate the amount of energy passively design house that how much energy when you do the passive design house then what your energy will will uh, radiation energy will face will uh, uh, face to the wall face to the wall okay then you can change the design here and there so that you can improve your thermal performance passively in your house All right so next I want to show you what is the solar exposure hours throughout the year okay same goes you have to apply first okay then you will see this is your house with the orientation okay you can see this is one for the one year roof will get more hours compared to others there is a 4167 hours uh, getting the sun radiation compared to the others and you can see also a little bit shading here 
can let your upper wall area getting less hours uh, facing uh, uh, let it uh, yeah, facing to the sun lesser than the the top wall facing lesser sun hours than the bottom wall so you can see by different colors same goes to the orientation you can see the the east west orientation getting more hours facing radiation to sun radiation compared to the north and south okay you can see so better here when you judge this can like passive design you can you can set up which which area you want to put uh, a condition compared to which side facing you want to put a condition let's say you if you have a room in this house okay of course we will go for lesser contact wall that contact hours to the solar radiation because the cooling load will be lesser talking about cooling load we will go further in my another video chapter all right that's it for today we will see you in the next video okay goodbye see you soon don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you